Now that we've learned about lists and dictionaries, we'll see that Python actually allows us to build lists and dictionaries in an easy way called comprehension. By the end of this video, you'll be able to build lists and dictionaries using comprehension. As I've said, comprehension is a way to build lists or dictionaries quickly. Suppose I want to build a list of the squares from 1 to 10. You're probably tempted to set up a loop for this if you have a background in other languages. But it turns out we can do this really easily in Python. This command here will build this list for us. Notice how short it is. But there are a number of pieces here. First, let's focus on the for i in range 1 through 11. This will provide i with the values 1 through 10, just like we're used to with for loops. Next, let's focus on the first part of the statement. i star star 2 means i squared. So we're saying we want i squared for each of the values of i, which we know will be 1 through 10. The result is a list with all the squares from 1 through 10, just like we wanted. OK, your turn now. Let's start by just making a list with the values 0 through 5. Stop the video, think about what belongs here, try to write it down or test it out, and then resume. Hopefully your answer was pretty close to this. Let's see just a few more examples of comprehension. If I want to have all the even values between 0 and 20, I can just use that third parameter to range to specify every other value. If I want to have a list with 10 values in its alternating 0 and 1, I can just use the modulo operator. OK, one more. What if I want a list with 10 random integers between 0 and 5? I'll have to start by importing random. Then I can use a library call for random.randint0 through 5 10 times, and I'll get back the desired list. Hopefully you're starting to see how easy it can be to generate these lists. We'll use these both to help create examples to learn from, and also to help us filters or masks when we're working with data later in the course. Before we go through, I, I wanted to briefly mention that you can use these to build dictionaries as well. The only major difference from list comprehension is now we're specifying both the key and the value. Like we'd expect, the key is on the left side of the colon, and the value is on the right side. I recommend you play with this a bit yourself. For example, could you build a dictionary of letters from capital A to capital Z as values and their corresponding numeric ASCII values as the key? You might find the CHR function useful. OK, pause the video, take a minute, and try to do this yourself. Then resume the video. I'll show you the answer. This actually isn't too bad with the CHR function and the ASCII numbering for letters. I hope you tried to do this for yourself to get more practice in Python before you looked at the answer. Next, we'll look briefly at one more data structure, sets. I'll see you soon.